So in all these boxes here, I've got a brand new complete live rig from Sweetwater. We're gonna put the rig together, but first let's get to unboxing. Okay. So after all these years of hearing about it and not really putting my hands on one, I'm finally getting into a Neural DSP Quad Cortex. And shout out to Brian, uh, my new rep, uh, my new sales rep from Sweetwater. Um, shout out Jeff, who, who moved up in the company. Uh, and I'm going to be putting together this bundle that I kind of picked out. Uh, I put a whole board build together. And the way that I'm using this is going to be a little different than most uh, Quad Cortex users. So let's put the Hawk Dog knife away for a second and see what's in our big box here. Uh, so I bought just a bunch of XLRs um, just to have on hand. I'm kind of sick of, you know, having XLRs that are all mismatched. Um, and I do have a couple bad ones. And, you know, in the heat of a moment, especially during these solo gigs, these private events, I'm trying to pack up, get out of there. Um, I tend to, you know, not do my due diligence and label the bad cable. Um, and so I got some replacements for those. Uh, we got some TRS patch cables, more on that in a little bit. And the bundle that I picked out uh, with the Quad Cortex uh, is the bundle that Sweetwater offers uh, with the Chox DC7 uh, and the Crux. And the Crux allows you to power the Quad Cortex without using four outputs uh, from the power supply. The DC7 is going to be a little bit overkill, um, you know, for only a couple pedals on this board. Uh, but this is a lifesaver and I'm really excited to get into the Chox stuff. And then the creme de la creme here, uh, the sh star of the show, the quad cortex. Can't forget the candy. And I'm building this on a pedal train Metro 20. Um, so we've got the pedal board there and like I said, the TRS cables, uh, we're going to be using not one, but two of these, uh, Laylee dual expressions. Um, there's some cool functions that you can do using one expression pedal and get it to control a couple different things. But I really like having two different treadles to have two different functions. All right. That's all for the big box. Get our hot, handy hot dog knife here. Let's see what we got in here. Man, I'm getting loaded up on Sweetwater candy today. All right, another XLR uh, Mogami. It's just, you know, I trust it. Um, and that's really the main thing is I want cables that I can trust. And then, you know, I have played through these a couple times, but I've never owned one of these D'Addario uh, American stage cables. I really like the connectors. Um, I, I, I really like to get nerdy about cables like the next guy, um, but I also like to have some stuff, um, you know, that's just grab and go, that's just, that's just easy. Um, this is, you know, kind of a off the shelf boutique uh, rather than like a handmade cable. Um, but these seem to have really good reviews. They hold up really well. Um, all right, and right here, you might notice that this says pedal train as well. Unfortunately, and I don't think this is a Sweetwater thing, this is a, a pedal train thing, but you can order the Metro 20 with either um, a soft bag or a hard case, but it's not their flight case. So pedal train has a couple different style cases. There's a, a much lighter duty uh, aluminum case, uh, and then there's more of the, the standard um, heavier duty flight case. So uh, I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, a heavy duty flight case um, 
just to really keep this thing protected. That, that's that been the one thing uh, about the uh, Neural DSP Quad Cortex is that um, it's not as rugged feeling um, just in my you know, first impressions, the, the few that I've held in my hand. Um, and so, you know, having a, a flight case, something to really protect it, I'm all about having a great case. It'll save you money in the long run. So let's start with this. I'm gonna kind of take everything out of their packaging uh, and then we'll go over to the workbench and uh, build the board there. So as you can see, we've got a nice flight case, butterfly latches, you know, nice thing. So <clears throat> let's get this Metro 20 out of here. Um, and I did uh, go for the soft bag. Um, one, because I don't want an extra, you know, light duty case hanging around really. Um, don't really need that. Um, but I was also curious, and I'm not sure, uh, if there is enough clearance to keep it in the gig bag and put the gig bag itself in this flight case. Um, so let's see if that fits right now. That's a negatory. Uh, I'm sure I could cram it in there, but that's not gonna be helpful uh, in getting it out. Uh, now I will say, honestly, I like these bags more than I like those light duty aluminum cases. Um, we've got some Velcro, although we'll probably use dual lock. And then we've got the Metro 20 here. So this is gonna be, I mean, a pretty small board. I've, I've got a couple, I've got this little uh, red baby board there. Um, and then I've got a Pedal Train Nano Plus that I actually used to use as a riser on my big board. Um, and now I just have it as a small, thinking about doing a mini pedal, pedal board, but that's for later. So we've got this and we've got a decent amount of clearance, there's about an inch um, all the way around. And um, that'll allow me, hopefully, uh, to keep a couple cables and a couple things in this case so it can kind of be um, ready to go on its own. But let's set this to the side momentarily. I might actually use this so we can see a little better. And uh, Tell you what, we'll just take one of these expressions out. So one thing about the Lely stuff is it's just really pretty to look at. I love the feel of the treadle. Um, and the cool thing is, is it matches fairly well with the quad cortex. Speaking of, let's get that out of its packaging. I feel like the Quad Cortex is kind of going for an Apple unboxing experience. Um, it already kind of feels the design, uh, kind of feels like that. I'm sure that that was intentional, um, you know, to have the, the Apple, you know, I don't know, there's a certain style, certain modern aesthetic um, that the Apples tend to have uh, that I feel like they're going for with the Quad Cortex. So we've got this beautiful, Embroidery, I don't know if that's a board, I guess it's a silk screen. <laughs> embroidery, I don't think you're embroidering cardboard. So we've got, I'll turn this around so you can kind of share in this experience of unboxing here. Um, you've got a, the top foam uh, has the kind of picture of the quad cortex. And here we go. Peace de la resistance. Or however you say that. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful looking piece of equipment, really. Um, it, it feels very high tech. Um, and let's look at 
just a quick peek here, kind of what it's going to look like. I really like that they're, um, you know, color schemed uh, pretty well together. Um, they, they look great together. Uh, and the size, that's, that's a big thing, is the size is just perfect. So let's go over to the workbench and start putting this rig together.